Welcome to Bible of a Brews, deep thoughts from an overtime of text. I'm coming at you, Aaron Crew Juice for Verk, and I've got Gumby. Hey, what's going on? And tonight, we're offering a toast to Dr. Michael S. Heiser. Mm. All the inspiration he's had, all the things he's done for us, rest in peace. Rest in peace. We're toasting with Long Island iced tea because he was a huge tea drinker. Cheers. It's for you, Dr. Heiser. We're using the Captain Morgan Long Island iced tea. Captain's remix on the classic Long Island iced tea cocktail blends Caribbean rum, vodka, and triple sec. Topped off with that taste of fresh lemon. Just pour over ice, then share the good times with your friends. Cheers. Cheers, man. This is good. Mm. It is one of their classics. And the mix is so smooth. Wow. <laughs> right? Pour over ice, you're good to go. Um, Dr. Heiser actually was a huge part of our podcast and the reason why this podcast even happened. Um, years ago, it was fun, circa 2016. <laughs> We had this beautiful little Bible study called the Brilliant Society, mm -hmm. and we would roundtable these different ideas. And at the time, we used a lot of Dr. Chuck Missler. Again, God rest his soul. Yeah, wow. He had a lot of fun ideas. We loved spinning all of his content. And he had this beautiful blend of theology and science. And, and what fascinated us was his ideas between like things like the Nephilim and, and the angelic divine beings. And so... He's a cool cat. What fascinated me, he was, fascinated he was. me the most was his leather coat that he talked in. <laughs> he was really hip, man. He was a good All dresser. All the way to the end, man. He was a really good dresser. <laughs> well, we dived a little deeper because we wanted to research this idea of divine beings in the Nephilim. And up came the Dr. Michael Heiser. Yeah. And uh, so I, I researched him out thanks to a person I knew who referred me to over to him. And uh, I found his email address, and I emailed him. And to my sh utter shock, he emailed me back. Because, you know, university people just ignore most people. <laughs> and what was beautiful about it was not only did he have a discourse with me on his ideas, he offered to send me his essays. And these were um, the... Wow. Right? And these were the essays that became the Unseen Realm later. <laughs> that is so cool, man. And he was so willing to share them. So well, were those like his raw ideas or something? Those were the ones that he got his doctorate on. Okay. You know, and, and these, these were the ideas like, you know, from Psalms, right? When he talks about how, how God steps out among the gods. and the Divine counsel. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And so these divine counsel and, and two powers in heaven ideas are what led to these huge treatises and books and, you know, the unseen realm, Yep. you know, and supernatural and the companion books that went with that. And it turned our studies around because sure all of a did. sudden we realized that there was content out there we could dive deeper into. And we were doing these bigger studies, these longer studies, because to be honest, I hate Bible study. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. The reason why I hate Bible studies because most Bible studies are one person expressing their ideas, and it's usually kind of a feel good kind of this is the way a Christian is supposed to be kind of I you know from my book I read. <laughs> Listen, for those people who take stuff out of that, that's cool. Keep enjoying it, but for me, it never dived deep enough. I was the kid that took the toasters apart. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the thing with Heiser. I didn't know how deep I wasn't. Right. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. yeah. So looking to his studies was kind of cool because it was it was kind of like looking at this pool of water. You see your own reflection, but the pool is so much deeper. Mm -hmm. You can see the stones and the valleys and and the and the fish underneath and all this vibrance just flowed forward. It's really cool. Yeah. There was this yeah. depth of study that we never realized that we could do as, as blue collar laymen. Mm -hmm. And so he helped us open that up. 
And that led us into all kinds of different directions and ideas. And to Gumby's credit, birthed the Bible Over Bruce podcast because it was his idea. <laughs> I remember that it was a... No looking back now. <laughs> it was during one of our Bible studies when he said, this is good. We need to make a podcast out of this. Yeah. <laughs> And so out of that came all of this and our, our growing treatise on how to have open discourse with different theological viewpoints yeah. and, and, and let people talk from their own viewpoints with their own research and dive deeper and deeper into that. Yep, for sure. And Heiser was very instrumental in that approach because I remember watching one of his first seminars on um, uh, are you pre, are you post, are you amen, what are you? You know, he went through each of you point, explained everything, unpacked it. You were just kind of blown away because he didn't show any bias toward any. And I'm pretty certain to this to this day, you really don't know what well, he knows now. Exactly. Rest in peace, brother. Yeah. But I, I, I love that about him because he made it a safe place to discover whatever that journey was you were on and offer you you know, insights and unpack whatever your viewpoint may be and why you think that way, what led you to think that way. This is the end conclusion kind of to that thinking. Yeah. That was really never a, um, an opportunity within, at, at least the way I grew up evangelically, you didn't really have that luxury kind of. So yeah, it just really broke new ground for me in so many ways. Yeah. I, I love what he, always, what he would always say because he'd say, well, I don't ascribe to any of them because they all cheat. <laughs> <laughs> and we don't, we didn't really get down to the depth of what he was trying to talk about until we started going through his writings and realized they all cheat. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> because the, all of them, every viewpoint dissects scripture to make the viewpoint that suits you. Yeah. Rather than trying to fit into the times what that viewpoint was trying to convey. Yeah. Yep. 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 Yeah, and he did. A, he did a great job of that. Absolutely, and I'm sure he said this in in other lectures or speeches or seminars he gave. Uh, but I remember he said it on our podcast too. He's like, in the end, which is just very appropriate to really talk about now. In the end, does it really matter when you're standing before God? Does it really matter? Uh, no, no. And right now, he would be the voice right now saying that, oh. This this is what I thought that was right. This is what I thought that didn't really matter. And now I know. Yep. He's in glory. <laughs> yeah. God wow. rest his soul. It was it was a beautiful journey to take with him. I will never forget being able to sit down and have dinner with him and his wife. And he was just a very genuine person. And it was just really easy to talk I to. I forgot you did that. Wow, that's cool, man. It, it was it was mind blowing. Because here's a guy, a doctorate who knows more about, you know, the ancient texts and languages and, and cultures than I will ever know. Yeah, yeah. And just genuine and... Yet he probably wanted to talk about Star Trek with you. <laughs> <laughs> and to this day, I love the fact that uh, we were able to get him on the podcast several times, which he did openly and and never asked for any kind of compensations he just he just did it because he wanted to be to bring this content forward yeah. right and and help people think for themselves and uh by the way i still love the fact that we got him to admit that the best star trek was the next generation <laughs> <laughs> he was he was completely taken back by the question i remember that yeah like he's like I've never been asked that. <laughs> I remember us feeling like, yes, one question, we got it. Right. <laughs> yeah. And, and the fact that he loved all the great geek genres, you know, he and I shared a love of, of Firefly and, and Lord of the Rings. Uh, in fact, I think that we can all admit that he was the Gandalf of our Middle Earth. Mm. <laughs> the immense... Uh, wealth that he left behind for all of us to, to continue on. Yeah. It, it's, it's his legacy is going to live on for generations. And the way he's opened people's mind is going to affect 
people from every denomination, from every walk of life, regardless of whether you are a pre, a mid, or a post, Mm -hmm. (laughs) whether you are a Reformed or an Evangelical, whether you're a Catholic or an Orthodox, his, his contributions are going to help people for generations. You know, and and I think we all have to really thank God above that He was able to send somebody to us to help open up our minds and awaken them in a way that hasn't been done in so long. Absolutely, spiritually speaking, if someone can do that politically in our world today, that'd be great, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah. He did that kind of in the religious slash spiritual realms, yeah. different denominations and just created the safe space to really talk about it. Yeah. What that looks like for you and man, what a <laughs> gift that was. So many podcasts were birthed out of that. There's ours, Bible of a Bruise, but then mm-hmm. he also birthed uh the the, the, blue, the naked Bible. His own, yeah, the Naked mm-hmm. Bible podcast, which that I'm sure is going to come out for generations in beautiful collections and 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 studies and there, there will be bible studies solely based around the books of the bible that he was able to explore on the mm-hmm. podcast to this day he's the only person that's ever made leviticus interesting <laughs> <laughs> right cuz that's a boring book yeah but when he explained it it came alive yeah i don't know of anybody else who could have ever done that <laughs> yeah no, I agree. One hundred percent, ma'am. So yeah, I say God love you, Doctor Heiser. Um, you will certainly live in our hearts forever. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. We just want to make sure we, we took time out to to toast somebody that meant so much to us and uh and had such a huge, beautiful impact on so many lives and so many lives to come. Yeah, for sure. I mean I'm I'm and I'm sure for his family behind they're gonna realize so many people that you know he touched that they don't even know you know yeah and man that's incredible what a legacy yeah because he really he has a beautiful family his his wife is amazing i got to uh speak and and talk with her and um uh not sure if i should say her name on air or not but <laughs> but she's just a very beautiful genuine soul that was very true with him all the way to the end just a beautiful beautiful soul and uh, and his kids loved him to death. I mean, they were so devoted to him. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. So I I, I love the the Heiser family. I can't imagine someone that passionate about biblical studies and everything that he studied, <laughs> not being that devoted as a husband and a father too. Which he he definitely I, I, was. I you, mean, yeah. <laughs> you can't convince me otherwise. <laughs> so. Wow. So, so we'll continue to pray for his family and. Yeah, and the repose of his soul. Mm-hmm. So, for all of you out there, we actually encourage you to go out and please listen to the the Naked Bible podcast. Pick up the Unseen Realm. Yeah. If you're not that that astute on a higher intellectual level, he also provided Supernatural, which is actually easier to read. So, if you want a shorter read that still goes in depth, that's that's along the same lines of the Unseen Realm. Pick up Supernatural. It's a great book. Mm-hmm. Once you dive into those, there's all the companion books from Enoch and on. Um, check out all of his books. We really, really highly encourage you. Please. <laughs> yep. Sure. So. Gumby, yeah. here's our toast to Dr. Heiser. Dr. Heiser. God bless him. God bless his soul. God bless his family. Yep. Amen. Amen. All right.